I've been in recovery for a few decades now. I really have. And I've said a lot of crazy things in recovery and I've heard a lot of crazy things in recovery. Believe me, I really have. And I've seen a lot of things and I've done a lot of things that are, you know, kind of like people look at me and say, you know, you know, I think that Terry guy's a little weird. I think he's off the rails a little bit. And you know, I was off the rails a little bit, especially early recovery. I had a hell of a time sobering up. So if you're having a hell of a time, don't worry about it. Just jump on the train with Terry G and we'll go all the way to better days ahead, to better days ahead. What they're saying now in the Ottawa area, Ottawa, Canada area, people are walking around in discussion meetings, walking around in speaker meetings and whatever kind of meetings, open topic meetings, and they're saying, you know, my feelings aren't true. You know, they're not factual. The way I feel is not true. And I'm like, what in the heck are you talking about? Because I've had a hard, hard time dealing with my feelings. And I've talked about feelings for the last 15 years in counseling off and on. And I've talked about the way I feel and the way I see things, all that kind of stuff. And now somebody's trying to tell me my feelings aren't true. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? So they walk up and they told me and they said, yeah, your feelings aren't factual. It's just uh, they're up and down and you can't really trust your feelings. What the hell are they talking about? So I'm seeing a counselor right now and I asked her and I said, her name is Sherry. And I said to her, I go, Sherry, you know, people in recovery now are walking around saying feelings aren't true. And she kind of like sat back and goes, what are you talking about? Your feelings aren't true. Your feelings are everything. Your feelings are everything. And I'm like, yeah, I've always been told that. I was in treatment centers. I was in a codependency treatment centers. They always told me my feelings are true. Don't be afraid of your feelings but they are true, they are who you are. They're a compass of how to handle the world outside of you and how we interpret the world around us, our feelings are. And I'm like, yeah, they are, they're true, right? She goes, yeah, your feelings are 100% true. And I'm like, okay, so what are these people talking about? So I come to a little conclusion of my own, what they're talking about when people say their feelings aren't true. Say for me, right, I have an anger issue. Right? I have unresolved issues and I have a bit of an anger issue. So somebody like cuts me off on the roadway. So instead of just letting it go, like a like frustration or anger, I get out of my car and sort of attack them on the roadway, which, which I never did. But that kind of anger would be exaggerated anger for the event. You know, some people might say getting out of your car and pounding on their windshield would be okay. But for me, it's not okay. So dealing with past issues that are not dealt with may affect the way you handle your anger in the present time. So maybe that's what they're talking about. They just don't know how to say it properly because even if you have anger issues, even if you have emotional difficulties of any type, they are true. Just because you have to work on the issue or work on unresolved issues, it doesn't mean it's not true. It just means that feeling is exaggerated and we need to work on it. So that's what I think that they're thinking. I think. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to say that to you because I found it very interesting when they say things like that because they go around and tell people your feelings aren't true and your feelings are very true. They are who you are. They make us individuals of how we see things, how we interpret the world around us. And once you understand your feelings and understand things the way that you tick, life gets a lot easier. It really does. Don't let your feelings control you. Don't. If you're having issues with your emotions, go and see a counselor, work on that, and those issues will go away. Most of our problems with our emotions are simply unresolved issues that are very, very fixable. They really, really are, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Take another second and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And thanks for stopping by. And remember, remember, sobriety is freedom. Break the shackles of the disease of alcoholism and your life will be a lot better and your dreams will come true. Ciao for now.